Oh, he's going to run for it. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him, calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. From the red zone now. Fails out of the pocket quick. And this time they're going to get there, and they drop him. And they're headed in reverse after that sack. Well, now this is certainly going to make second and goal considerably more difficult. He could have gotten rid of it to avoid the big loss. But give some credit here to the defense as well. That pressure was suffocating. It's going to make it a more difficult now second and goal situation. Needing 10 yards now as they line up, it's second and goal. Running this with Connor. And that play is brought to a halt, they're going to say, at the five-yard line. Give him five yards on second and goal. They're going to be five yards out on third. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you're going to be a pro bowler. They've held him out twice. Here we go, third and goal. Here he is to throw. And this is caught, touchdown, Arizona. The Cardinals pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. Slant route as it does so many times every game we call, Brock. Paying dividends made that touchdown look a lot easier than it was. An uncontested release that close to the end zone spells disaster for a defense every time, Kate. You gotta have a whole lot more physicality at the point of attack because a QB is always gonna be looking for that short little slant near the goal line. That one splits the uprights. And the Cardinals break that tie and now lead by seven. All set now for the kickoff. Ryland with the honors. Gibson now to return. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. New York taking over once again. The offense heading out. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Now he gets a shot here in overtime. Wilson's got it. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the gun, it's Hall. Duke the defender. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. Timeout taken by New York, that's it second. As they'll be left with just one more to work with here in OT.
First and 10, ball set up at the 48. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. And they make the tackle at the 38. Big gain, 14 on the play. And it's good enough for a New York first down. Timeout called by the Jets. That's their final one. And they'll be unable to stop the clock again here in overtime. New set of downs for him at the 38. Here's Rodgers on first and 10. He'll get this one to Adams. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Hall's going to try to smash his way in. And they love to see him fighting forward, but he only gets him three. Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe, you push a little closer, and now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. The nose of the football inside the one. Here's second and goal. Rodgers here from the gun. And he will score! Touchdown, New York! The Jets cut it to a lone point on the scoreboard. So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. Zerline on now for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Jets tie us up, 28 all. It's all lined up. Morstead ready to send this fly. Dorch now to return it. This return makes it up to the 25. The Cardinals in possession of it once again. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Drive starts out with a first and ten. First play of the drive, and he takes an option left. Takes out a one stop, and they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Wow, they get a big old 32 yards out of that play, as well as a new set of downs. Hey, forget about it. Forget first down. For a moment, they were thinking touchdown on that play. What a time to deliver a breakaway run. And that puts a ton of momentum on their side for the next snap. This one's quickly to Jones. And he's taken down at the 30. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play. Keep driving that defense backwards. First and ten now from the 30. Connor on the inside give. 
And he's brought down after taking this to the 26. Solid four-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. On second down, a run with Connor. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down, but instead they move the chains. And that is one disheartening look on that defense. This a very important field goal for Chad Ryland. This is a 35-yard look from the right hash. The kick is good. He got it. And they've taken back the lead. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. So the Cardinals fight to a win here at home. And they only needed to set him up with a shot to connect and win it with three. And his aim was true to make it happen and put an end to this competitive ball game. That does it for another broadcast of the NFL on EA Sports. With my partner in the booth, Brock Hewitt, I'm Kate Scott. It's a win for the Cardinals, as we say so long from Glendale.